The sun isn't yet awake, but already is my dream. And Bum Bum, of course. He always gets up when I do. The air is fresh, wheezing with silent magic. And so am I. Now is five pound minutes. Waking up early is not easy, much less when you're just starting. It requires a sort of discipline that, for a long time, I didn't think I had. The day starts with skincare and a mental gratitude list. I'm grateful for the slowness of early mornings. I'm grateful for the opportunity to live my dreams today. I'm grateful for the dreamers who find me on their way. It took me years of trial and error, of learning about myself, to come to this routine. And even this, I can only do a few days a week on my creative days, as I like to call them. At 5 a.m. I'm an author. This is my dream and I am living it. At least at 5 a.m. Every writing session starts with an entry in my writing journal. Here I record my real-time feelings about the project I'm working on, my struggles, my victories. Once I'm done, I slip into another world. which means the most focused and peaceful part of the day is now over. May the distractions begin, starting with my rambling stomach. So I guess I'm gonna go get some breakfast and read for a little bit. Bum Bum is really annoyed. Bum Bum, why are you mad? Can't mommy talk? Bum Bum. Why oh, you so mad? Mornings are for little moments, for slow and mindful gestures, for stretching seconds into hours. I want to take the seconds in the mornings in silent inhales, unnoticed, until they do something with time that immortalizes them in my memory, forever. I need these seconds and these mornings. I was really enjoying the book, but back to my own now. I used to think I didn't have time to write, but in reality, I just wasn't making the time. I wanted to one day write full time, but I wasn't creating space in my life for that opportunity. I am now. Every time I have the morning off, I've decided I'm going to spend it writing. 9 a.m. is for WIP number two. I'm currently drafting it, so I do 25 minute writing sprints. Five minute 
break is for stretching my wrists, my fingers, my back, my neck. I also try to give my eyes a break by doing something other than stare at the screen. the end of my morning following dreams. I close the daily entry and say thank you to my morning and my dream. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you for the opportunity to listen to Bon Bon complain that I'm talking. And thank you to you for joining me on this journey. Let me know what your dream is, what you're trying to achieve in this wonderful life, and let's do it together.